we knew that we were playing Geelong in the second elimination final. Comment around the club rooms at that stage was, you know, that they'd beaten us twice, their running players were superb, and that perhaps we'd drawn the raw prawn. But I think deep down the feeling amongst the players was one of extreme confidence because they really didn't mind who we were playing in the finals because it had been instilled in them for the past weeks that you're only in finals to win them and they knew that they had to win to deserve the chance of going one step further. It's kicked away out of defence by Burke. Oh, it was Kane Taylor in fact with a good mark taken by Vidovic to the half-back line. Hooper in front. Punches it on. He was looking for Bearstow. Bearstow's got a couple to beat. It's socket off the ground. McAdam versus Steve Hocking. Look at the pace of McAdam. McAdam a bounce. Oh, was he tripped? No. A ball calls play on Gilbert McAdam. Races in the goal. And fires in a magnificent kick for a goal. First goal of the game. It's Devonport. It's centre wing. Oh, secure the player down behind the play. Ablett met him very, very hard. Ball at half court, it's a free kick going to Long's way. But gee, Gary Ablett went in hard. It's Nathan Burke, the player that's down, and that's twice that uh, he's clashed with Gary Ablett in this opening quarter. And, oh, there's another shocking kick. He's and okay. That's gone straight to Robert Harvey. So Geelong's disposal at the moment leaves a lot to be desired. Centre wing goes to low. Stoneham with a run at him. Greg's handball, very good. Winmar Coglin kicks the goal, does he? Yes! Well, they've waited a long time and they've got the start they wanted. The bounce back in the centre. Geelong will desperately want to get this out. But they can't. Because Harvey goes forward again. It's kicked forward by Vidovic. Here's a chance for Dean Rice. Lockett versus Rogers. Oh, look at the speed for Lockett. What a fantastic mark. As Lockett from 20 metres for St Kilda's third goal. What a start. The champion for 40, he's hooked it. No, he's got it. To the half forward line. Brownless. Oh, he nearly took the mark. Umpire calls play on, but he's ghost and gets it again. Billy Brownless. He had a loose man to give it to, but he fires it and slams it through the goal himself. Brownless again, the target. Getting back Grant, off the ground by Taylor, trapped very well by Paul. Can steady and kick a goal here. Oh, look at this for Bruns. And to kick the goal, and has, and they're in front of the Cats. So at quarter time, the players were sort of looking around saying, well, you know, it's really not that different to a normal home and away game. The butterflies have, have disappeared. It's starting to hurt. But we know that if we keep chipping away, we can beat this, this team. And it will go to Rogers. He's going out wide to Simpson. Could be dangerous. There are two St Kilda players out there, McAdam and Winmar. McAdam from 40 metres. Kicks long at goal. It swings back. It's a goal. Missed it away to Newport. The Saints are up and running. Here's Greg. Clever hand pass. McAdam, a touch of the bumbles. Now he's got it. A oh, good play by McAdam. Great skill. He looks for Winmar. Center of the ground, Nicky Winmar. Devonport. Now where's the big man Lockett? Here he comes. And a good mark. And that is beautiful football. Terrific team play that by the Saints. Now Lockett for his second goal. Kicks. No doubt about it right through the middle. Well, there's a number 60 out there. His name's Nicky Winmar. He's changed his jumper. Couch, gee, they're wearing uh, couch very, very closely. Here's Gilbert McAdam. Really casual player, but an enormous skill. Morris versus Hinkley. And Morris faces back up, but there's Winmar. Number 60 on his back, as we said. Robert Harvey. Lock it. The leader's on. Out he comes. And he marks. 35 minutes from goal, Tony Lock. Now the champion full forward, Tony Lockett, kicks a goal and he puts it through. And uh, Mark 
McNeil is warming up on the boundary line. There he is, a late inclusion, only a youngster, he'll be pretty nervous. Vinovich again, Hamlet punches it, but straight to Newport. This is Nicky Winmar, the long bomb. Oh, danger here because Lockett is there. Oh, look at that for a mark. Oh, what a great mark for the champ. Tony Lockett going for his fourth, and more importantly, a chance to give a good little lead to St Kilda. He's put it right through the middle. Rice goes to ground. McAdam against the tie and gets the free kick. Terrific play by Gilbert McAdam. There were three Geelong players there. He had to put his body in. He did just that and earned the free kick. He's had a great game. Craig Devonport on to Dean Rice. The St Kilda running players doing very well. Here's Lockett. Was he held? Umpire calls play on, but he's got it. Tony Lockett. Stoneham with him, not paid, Harvey, Paul, Dean Gregg misses it, Newport squares it to Winmar, and Winmar's away and kicks it to Lockett, and he takes it on the way. Oh, this is a celebration, Lockett's playing superb. He's kicked five goals, three, and he's lining up for number six from 45 metres out. Drop punt as always, straight through the middle. Six to lock it. And Bernie, this lead is becoming very important now at 9 6 to 5 goals 5. And at half time, when we came in with the, into the, into the rooms with the scores being so level and the, or so close, and the players being so tired it was a a real delicate situation they'd never been there but again it had been instilled to them in them that at half time in any final as tired as you are there's no doubt that the opposition are the same centers it again brown was the target and again he takes the mark this to put geelong within five points drop punt leans back on it kicks it strongly and kicks it through bairstow well played with strength harding and brownless harding in the front brownless caught the handball harding hocking couch they're everywhere hocking again right foot snap is that another one it is. Cats by seven points. What can St Kilda do? They've got to stem the flow. Because Geelong have been getting it out of the centre. Here's their chance. Fawley to Winmar. The long kick. Lockett. And Spencer. Sp Lockett a great mark. He's too good. Tony Lockett. To get St Kilda back in it. He's kicked six. St Kilda champ. Has gone. Touched Ablett with one hand. Gary Hocking sweeps a handball wildly. Peek it, well played. Left foot. Lock it again. He'll take it. Low drop punt. Centre wing Coglin and Hinkley. Hinkley went early, got the thump away. Malakalis now Craven sweeps the handball to Peek it. Peek it to Coglin. They're running the Saints. Lock it. Over the top, Stoneham. Lock it. Taps it beautifully for Nixon. Is it touch or is it a goal? It's a goal. Well, the replay might tell the story here. 12-7 to 10-9. Gary Hocking did some pushing and shoving. Oh, he's got it, Hocking. He's played a magnificent corner. The short pass is on. Billy Brownless is marked. Well, he's on 50 metres, he drifts it to the right, it's swinging, it swings back. Beautiful kick for a goal. Couch gave it away. Greg again, with some strength. McAdam half follies it, plays it on, sweeps it to Winmark. How many times have they done that? Lockett, the target again. Winmark gives him a chance and he takes it, Lockett. 
They've kicked 126 goals this season, and this is his 17th match. It's an awesome performance. Drop punt. Great looking kick off the boot. He's done it. The third quarter was a again a tremendous struggle. But just for 10 minutes, the first 10 minutes of it, while I think that feeling of, of apprehension was in our players' minds, the Geelong players, particularly Hocking, particularly Brownless, were really able to cut us apart. Look to certainty. And how costly could that prove to be? Stuart Lowe over the top of Trevor Spencer. Good mark. There's a kick by Stoney. Paul. Gets a free kick. Well, three men between them five times have kicked 11 goals in final. So Lockett's getting into that rarefied atmosphere. Here's Gary Hocking. Brownless. Frawley hanging on, but played it well. Brownless goes to ground. Handball counts with a chance to go. Left foot. It's close. It's there. The Brownlow medalist from two years ago has put the catch in front by goal. To the centre. Neil and Morris. Morris in the front spot over the back. Gary Hocking, it sits. Goes for goal. Brownless, he'll take it. This to put the catch. 13 points in front. He's done it. Devonport's free kick. In real pain, Craig Devonport has to sweep it out to Harvey. Harvey goes inside to Harding. Harding sells a dummy. Quick kick, Rushton. Low in the front spot. Lockett run out on the goal square. Will he go quickly to him now? Well, he should. He should because he well, oh. may think he can kick the distance to low. But he'd be kicking from 55 metres. If he had got it there, there quickly, Hooper's now had the chance to get down there and cover Lockett. Low from 50. It's a long kick. Gee, it's a great kick. It's a goal. And the Saints are still in it. 14-12 to 15-14. Lowe's kicked his first. Morris at the back. Craven. Some good shepherding off the play. Craven's kick. Stephen Hocking. Oh, great mark, Winmar. What a player this man is. And goes on quickly. Can it get as far as Lockett? It's over the back. Low. Chance for Coglin. Terrific tackle. McCannum looks for a free. Lockett looks for the footy. Spencer wants it. McCannum, this is magnificent football. And Geelong come away through Rogers. To the half forward line. Harding takes a good safe mark. Has to move it quickly. Three and a half minutes remaining. Loose players in the centre for the Saints. The kick to Devonport. Plays on. Rice, he's got a panic. He can go all the way. A bounce. Another one. He's running away from the goal. Now goes for goal and kicks it strongly. And misses. Ran sideways when he really should have just attacked. No mark. Denham. Oh, I thought he was going to sock it off the ground. His players pouncing on top of it. It'll be a bounce. Look at the desperation of those Geelong forwards. Three of them diving in there. And there's a siren. Well, it was one of the great matches. After the game was a very emotional moment. It was, um, it was, you know, it was void. Like it was, it was, it was hollow. It was, uh, it was the end. Talking to players such as Frank Coglin that had been at at our club for, for six and eight years. They'd never been in this situation to, for it to end so sudden. Five weeks from home in previous seasons, they were preparing, you know, for their holidays or for this or for that because the end was, you know, you knew it was coming. But the build up and for it to end so quickly, it really was a sad, a sad few few minutes, but one which again, I'm sure the players won't forget, and they won't let each other forget. And it has to be used as a catalyst for better performances next season.